Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use MindMeister. MindMeister is a powerful mind mapping tool that can help you organize your ideas, thoughts, and projects in a visually appealing and effective way. MindMeister is a cloud-based software that allows you to create and collaborate on mind maps in real time with team members or individuals. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of how to get started with MindMeister, including creating a new mind map and customizing it with various tools and features. So please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the MindMeister tutorial. First, if you're new to the platform, you need to sign up. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you see there. This will take you to the correct sign up page. First, on the top right corner of the screen, you will see a sign up button. Click on it to begin the registration process. When signing up for an account, you will have the option to choose between three methods. Email, Google account, or Microsoft account. Select your preferred method and follow the prompts to complete the registration process. Once you have successfully signed up, the next step is to personalize your account. This can be done by following the prompts that appear after you have logged in. Personalizing your account allows you to customize your user profile, set up your preferences, and configure other settings that will enhance your MindMeister experience. After personalizing your account, you will be redirected to your account dashboard. Here you can access all of MindMeister's features and tools. The MindMeister dashboard is designed to be simple and easy to navigate, making it easy for you to access all of the features you need to create and manage mind maps. One of the key features of the MindMeister dashboard is the left navigation panel. This panel contains several important tabs that provide quick access to the most important features of the platform. Some of the tabs that you will find in the left navigation panel include My Maps, Recents, Favorites, Public, and Trash. First I'll show you what you can actually find in MindMeister, and then I will show you how we can use MindMeister. The My Maps tab provides you with an easy way to access all of the mind maps that you have created yourself, as well as any maps that you have been invited to by other users. Having all of your mind maps in one place makes it easy to keep track of your projects and to quickly find the map that you need. You can use the search function to search for a specific map, or you can sort your maps by various criteria such as alphabetical order, newest, and oldest. In addition, the My Maps tab also makes it easy to collaborate on maps that have been shared with you. If another user has invited you to collaborate on a map, it will appear in the My Maps tab along with your own maps. The Recents tab provides you with a quick and easy way to access mind maps that you have recently viewed or worked on. When you click on the Recents tab, you will be taken to a page that displays a list of all the mind maps that you have recently accessed. This can be a helpful feature if you need to quickly return to a map that you were working on earlier but don't remember its title. By default, the Recents tab displays the last 10 mind maps that you have viewed or worked on. However, you can adjust the settings to show more or fewer maps, depending on your preference. The Recents tab also displays the date and time that each map was last accessed, which can be helpful for keeping track of your progress and ensuring that you stay on top of your projects. The Favorites tab provides you with a way to easily access your most frequently used or important mind maps. When you click on the Favorites tab, you will be taken to a page that displays a list of all the mind maps that you have marked as favorites. The Favorites tab is particularly useful for users who work with a large number of mind maps. By marking your most important or frequently used maps as favorites, you can quickly access them without having to navigate through the entire mind maps tab. The Public tab allows you to see all of the maps that you have made public. When you make a map public, it can be viewed by anyone who has the link to the map. When you click on the Public tab, you will be taken to a page that displays a list of all the maps that you have made public. You can use the search function to find a specific map, or you can sort your maps by various criteria such as date created or map title. The Public tab also provides a way to manage your public maps. You can edit the details of each map, including the map title, description, and tags. You can also change the privacy settings of each map to make it private again or to share it with specific users. One of the benefits of making a map public is that it allows you to share your ideas and collaborate with a wider audience. Public maps can be shared on social media, embedded in websites or blogs, or shared with colleagues and classmates. 
However, it's important to note that making a map public also means that it can be viewed by anyone who has the link. Therefore, it's important to be careful about the information that you share on public maps and to ensure that you are not sharing any sensitive or confidential information. The Trash tab allows you to view and recover any maps that you have deleted or trashed. When you delete a map, it is moved into the Trash folder where it is stored for 30 days before being permanently deleted. In addition to the left navigation panel, there are several other important options located at the top right side of the MindMeister dashboard. These options can help you customize your workspace and navigate through your maps more efficiently. One of these options is the three dots located at the top right side of the screen. Clicking on these dots will allow you to change the view of your maps between grid or list. You can also sort your maps by alphabetical order newest or oldest. This can be useful for organizing your maps and finding specific ones quickly. Another important option at the top right side of the dashboard is the search bar. The search bar allows you to quickly find a specific map you are looking for by typing in keywords or the map title. This can be a time-saving feature for users with many maps. The notification panel is another option located at the top right side of the dashboard. This panel helps to notify you of any updates or changes to your maps such as new comments or invitations to collaborate on a map. The dots in the square form located on the top right side of the dashboard is the product switcher. This option helps you to easily switch between different products that Meister offers such as Meister Task, Mind Meister, and Meister Note. This can be useful for users who need to switch between different Meister products to manage their workflow. Finally, the profile section allows you to manage your account information and preferences. In the profile section, you can update your personal details such as your name, profile picture, and contact information. You can also manage your email settings, time zone, and language preferences. In addition to managing your account information, the profile section also helps you to manage your preferences within the MindMeister app. Now creating a new mind map in MindMeister is easy and can be done in a few simple steps. You can create a new mind map from scratch or choose from a variety of predefined templates. To create a new mind map from scratch, simply select the plus icon located in the top left corner of the screen. Once you have clicked on the plus icon, a drop down menu will appear where you can select new mind map. This will take you to the MindMeister editor where you can start creating your unique mind map. Once you are on the MindMeister Editor page, you will see a toolbar on the right side of the screen that contains different tools to customize your mind map. These tools include actions, style, icons, layout, and themes. With the actions tool, you can add connections, comments, notes, media, attachments, and tasks to your mind map. The style tool helps you to change the font style and colors as well as add shapes, borders, and lines. The Icons tool allows you to add icons and emojis to your mind map, while the Layout tool helps you to change the layout of your mind map, such as a mind map, org chart, or list. Finally, the Themes tool lets you choose from different available themes to customize the look and feel of your mind map. Once you have created your mind map, you can share it with others by clicking on the Share button at the top right side of the editor. A pop-up window will appear where you can enter the email address of the person you want to invite to view your mind map and write a message to them. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using MindMeister. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you! So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.